it's me Donna better known as Thriftastic Mom here on YouTube welcome to my channel today I am going to show you a thrift haul um, I actually got this stuff about a week ago but I'm just now getting around to actually doing this video I went to my local thrift store um, called to his house and um, they don't price anything but they just kind of you take everything up there and they just kind of give you one price for everything so everything I'm going to show you, I'll give you the price of it at the end. That way you can see what all I got for my money. If you do hear some scrunching and different noise in the background, it's just my kittens. They're playing over there, making a bunch of noise. So that's what that is. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll start with this stuff here. I got two of these. What do you call these? Allo Touch by Medline. Two of these. And they're, they're just personal cleansing cloths. I like to get stuff like this. I use these to uh, either use as cloths if I need them. I can use them to wipe something down or whatever. So a lot of times when I see these, I pick them up because I can get them pretty cheap. They probably charge me like 50 cent or a dollar most time for these things. So I got two of those. Uh, next thing I got was this um, Hungry Jack Pillsbury Buttermilk Complete pancake mix tin so I looked it up on eBay I thought you know some people buy older tins like this so I looked it up and they do sell on eBay so I picked this one up and actually there was a woman in there and she was wanting it um, but she seen I had already got it I don't see a date or anything on it, it does have a little bit of like rust around the bottom but there's a lot of people you know like that because that's just part of the age of it but anyway it's uh, oh it has like pancake recipe inside and there's a little bit of like rusted stuff inside but most people would like decorate with this just set it up somewhere and not actually use it you know but I thought I'd throw that up on eBay so I picked that up I did pick up a cake plate because last time I needed to make a cake I had got rid of my cake uh, carriers like this and I'm like man I wish now I wish I hadn't got rid of it because I don't make cakes that often but sometimes I have to make a cake and I'm like I'm gonna go ahead and get this one since it was pretty nice it actually got these little like locks on it that lock it into place so the lid don't come off and it's got the bottom part like this where you could actually flip it over and put like some veggies and stuff in it you know some little different condiments or something inside and use the bottom part if you wanted to so I thought that was pretty nice let's see can I get it open now I think I have to push in yeah you have to push in on it anyway this is the lid pretty nice just got to wash it and clean it up a little bit. Blue plate. So pick that up because I'm always needing these things when you have to bake a cake. Take it to a like a church function or something. It's usually where I take, make cakes for them. Take to our church when we're having little get-togethers and such. <clears throat> okay, next thing I got. And I'm not, I needed y'all's help with this a little bit because I'm not sure about it. This is a Rachel Ray. Let's see. This is a Rachel Ray pan. It's in really good condition. Don't feel like it's been used much. So I picked this up and it's got this orange handle on it. It's got her name on it. It's got the signature and all that stuff on the back. But then this here was with it. And I've never seen this. I've never seen this. Let me lay it down. Put it down. But it's like a lid like this. And I assumed that this went with it because it was sitting with it because it's got that orange handle. But I'm not sure. But it, the way it's made, it's like a, I guess like a press maybe. Have you ever seen something like this? Or is it supposed to be like a press? Because it don't even really fit the pan. It just it just kind of 
sets down in. So I'm not sure. I thought it went with it, but I'm not sure. It could be Rachel Ray, but just not go with the pan. I'm not sure. But if you've seen these and you know, I even tried to look it up online to see if it was some kind of press. But I went ahead and got it because it was with the pan. So I went ahead and picked that up. But let me know in the comments if you know anything about that lid or what it goes to or if it doesn't go with this pan or whatever. I'd greatly appreciate it because I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I went ahead and got that because that's a nice pan. Um, I picked this up because I do have some cooling racks, but mine are not very big. They're like half the size of this. So I went ahead and got this big one here. Good size. Big old, big old cooling rack for when I do decide to bake cookies or whatever. I'll have that, you know, because when I don't have it, I'm like, man, I wish I had that. And then I got this, was with it. This big pan here. I guess, what do you call it? It's like a baking pan because it's got the, the edge like this. So this may go with it. I don't know, but I did. I bought both of them together. They were sitting together. So I went ahead and got that. I thought that would come in handy when I'm needing to use it for a cooling rack for anything you know it ain't just gotta be a baked good it could be anything so I went ahead and picked that up and then I got some shirts now most of the time if I come across shirts like McDonald's shirts or some kind of restaurant shirts or anything like that work shirts they usually sell pretty good for me on eBay so I looked in this bin where they keep all their t-shirts and stuff, and they had a lot of Bojangles t-shirts in there. So I got like 12 of them. And some of them were still in the, the bags. Some of them were pulled out of the bags. But I thought, you know, normally they they do like $2 a piece on them, but once I added everything up, they charged me like a dollar a piece for these shirts. So I'm going to put all these. Um, it's only going to be like three, li three different listings. But... I'll be able to put all the shirts on and sell them. But they're all Bojangles. This one is still in the bag. And it's just a black Bojangles shirt. Like the golf shirt with the collar. Something probably like the manager would wear. But um, it's, it's by Barco Uniforms, size large. So I picked that one up. And it even has a USA flag on the, on the back. So I thought maybe somebody would buy that. I usually do good with these workwear shirts. Here's another large, same kind of shirt in the bag. And then I had got some that are was open at the bag like this. This black t-shirt. It's got the uh, it's bow time on it. And then on the back it says fried chicken makes everything better, and it says Bojangles. But these were new. They were, a lot of them were like in the little plastic bags, but people had took them out and I just left them laying there. So I just grabbed, I didn't grab the bags. I just grabbed the shirt. Then I got a couple of the, well, I got like three black ones, like the one I just showed you. And then the rest of them are all orange. And this one says Bojangles on the front. And it's got bow on the sleeve. And then on the back it says, this is how Bojangles, wait a minute, this is how we roll with Bojangles in the middle of it. And these are some big sizes. These are like, this is an extra large. I think I got some 2Xs in here. But I got a good a good stack of these shirts that I'm going to be putting on eBay. I got like 12 of them. Here's the other two black ones. And then I got a bunch of orange ones here a whole bunch of these orange ones too that I'm gonna be putting on eBay and I give like a dollar a piece for those and now the yeah that's everything yeah and now the last thing that I got and all this came from the one thrift store that's the only thrift store I went to that day I wasn't feeling that great but I decided to go in there and look around and I got some good stuff that day uh, the last thing I picked up were a pair of shoes for me. I thought these looked pretty nice. I do got to clean them up a little bit. But these are called, what are these called? Eddie Bowers. 
but they're just like little blue and gray sandals. I can wear stuff like this because it has a, a flat bottom. So I'm, I'm hoping they're going to work out good for me. They do need to be cleaned up a little. But I thought they were nice in my size. So I'm going to try and uh, hopefully these fit me good. Normally their shoes are like $2. But I thought they were cute. I love those colors. And it would be nice to wear something different, you know, with the summertime. So I got those, normally two bucks. Um, I added everything up. They charged me for everything that you've seen, um, $21 for everything. So it averages out, you know, like maybe a dollar a piece. Let's see, that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. yeah. So about, about a dollar a piece for everything. So that's a great deal, you can't beat that. But anyway, that's it, guys. That's everything that I got at the thrift store. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of short, but, you know, hey, a thrift haul is a thrift haul, and I love to go thrifting. But anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Y'all leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you are new here and you've never subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and become a, a internet neighbor of mine. I do all kind of different videos, so hopefully you'll, you know, like something you see and stick around. So have a good week. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye.